back to our virtual boat show series. This segment is all about life rafts. Now, depending on what type of boating you're doing will affect which type of life raft you're required to carry, if any at all. So there's three main types to be aware of. The first is commercial life rafts. If you're doing any type of commercial fishing or if you're a larger passenger vessel or of course a larger cargo vessel or a shipping vessel, then you fall into that commercial category and you'll be required to have some type of a commercial raft on board. So next in line, we have ISO approved rafts, which aren't commercially approved. They wouldn't cover you for the Coast Guard regulations if you're commercial fishing, but they do cover you for some of the rules and regulations for some certain offshore uh, racing events or organized events where they require certain safety equipment on board. And the third and final type of raft that we'll talk about is purely recreational rafts. If you're not a commercial vessel, you're not offshore sailing or racing, and you just wanna have a life raft on board for your own personal safety, then that's the category you would be looking at is just a purely recreational raft that's gonna save your life if you need it, but it's not meeting any Coast Guard or ISO approvals. So those are the three main types of rafts and there's different uh, types of rafts within those categories as well. So we'll briefly cover uh, some of the basics about that and then we'll take a look at some specific models. So I'll briefly talk about commercial life rafts and then we'll dive into the recreational and ISO approved rafts. So most of our customers that we deal with here are commercial fishermen and uh, the type of raft that you would need on a commercial fishing boat depends on a few factors, mostly how far you're operating from shore, whether your boat is state registered or federally documented, and how many people are on board, time of year fishing, stuff like that. Briefly to talk about it, there's three main types of commercial rafts, which are an IBA or inflatable buoyant apparatus, which is a raft with no canopy. There's a coastal raft, which has a canopy on it, but a bare floor, uh, not a lot of equipment. And then there's SOLAS approved rafts or US Coast Guard SOLAS approved rafts, which are considered offshore rafts. They're gonna have a full canopy, an insulated floor. They're gonna have extra equipment in the equipment packs like flares or some of them have food and water rations, first aid kit, stuff like that. So the three types vary depending on how far you're operating from shore. So that same kind of stepped approach from how far you're operating from shore does carry over to the recreational and ISO rafts a little bit, although the specific equipment and some of the details are a little bit different. So let's talk about ISO approved life rafts for a minute. What is ISO? So ISO is the International Organization for Standardization, and they actually come up with approvals and criteria for all kinds of different products, not just life rafts, not just marine products. Um, so they, they take something, they look at it and they say, for your product to be ISO approved, it has to meet this, this, and this. So in the case of life rafts, the specific ISO approval is either a 9650-1 or 9650-2. The ISO 9650-1 is gonna be your offshore life raft the certain approvals that they came up with mean that this raft, an ISO 9650-1, has the right equipment to save your life, uh, keep you safe until you can be rescued in an offshore environment where you might need to survive a little bit longer than a closer to shore situation. An ISO 9650-2 raft is considered a coastal raft. So it's still built to certain criteria, but it's intended for closer to shore. So those are the two different ISO approvals. And within those, you can get different equipment packs packed into them. So there are three main types of equipment packs in an ISO approved life raft. The first being a uh, greater than 24 hour equipment pack. And as the name suggests, that's gonna have enough equip equipment in there to help you survive for a period longer than 24 hours. So if you're boating way offshore, and if something goes wrong, you don't expect rescue to come quicker than a day or so. You think you might need some food or water rations to survive out there, maybe a first aid kit, some extra equipment in there like that. Uh, not to mention an insulated floor to keep you protected from hypothermia. That's what a greater than 24 hour equipment pack is gonna give you in a 
particularly in an ISO 9650-1 life raft. The next jump down is a less than 24 hour equipment pack, which as it sounds like is a little bit less equipment. It's gonna make the raft lighter, but you're not gonna have the, all the food and water rations, probably less flares, uh, a different first aid kit, stuff like that. So basically the same raft, it's still a 9650-1 raft with different equipment packed in there. And then your third option is gonna be a coastal pack. So then you jump back down into your 9650-2 rafts and you've got really basic equipment in there. Uh, no insulated floor, no food or water, maybe some hand flares. For ISO approved life rafts, we carry some really great brands like Ocean Safety and Cruise Saver. Ocean Safety makes a great line of their Ocean ISO life rafts. They've got a couple different options in there. Um, they've actually got an Ocean Ultralight, which is super lightweight. Uh, the, if you get one in a container, it actually comes in a carbon fiber container. Uh, the model in a valise is a special carbon fabric. And the coolest part is it's got a carbon wrapped aluminum cylinder in there. So it makes even a larger life raft feel super lightweight compared to a standard life raft. Most of your uh, standard life rafts are going to have a steel cylinder in there, which is super heavy just in itself. And then a fiberglass container or a standard valise is gonna add even more weight. So their Ocean Ultralight line is something really cool if you're concerned about weight savings on a sailboat or even a powerboat where you are really paying attention to how much weight you put on board. So just to recap a little bit, a commercial raft is intended for commercial fishermen, passenger vessels, stuff like that. An ISO life raft is great for people who are doing offshore racing or some organized event where they're required to have a certain type of equipment on board. If neither one of those apply to you and you don't really care about Coast Guard approvals or ISO approvals and you just want something on your boat to keep you safe if something goes wrong, then you can jump into a purely recreational raft. And these rafts are still, a lot of them are still made just as good as the ISO or Coast Guard approved rafts. They just haven't gone through that approval process. The manufacturer chose not to go through that process, which saves them money. Ultimately, it makes the life raft cost less but again, you don't have either one of those approvals if you are doing those activities. Uh, we see it all the time. Somebody just getting into commercial fishing will find an offshore raft uh, for sale and they'll think, oh great, I need an offshore raft, I'm, I'm fishing offshore. But what they don't realize is it's just a purely recreational raft. It doesn't cover them for the commercial fishing regulations. So if you're more interested in that topic, Make sure you check out our other video all, all about commercial fishing regulations where we'll break some of that down a little bit deeper and we'll talk about all the requirements that, that meet those needs. So back to recreational rafts. Like I said, if you just have a boat, you don't require either one of those other approvals and you just want something on board to keep you safe, that's where you choose your recreational rafts. And uh, that's where we have a lot of great, uh, really, um, cost-effective options for you and uh, starting out in some really small packages. If you look over here, this is Crew Saver's Rescue Case, which is going to be your most basic life raft, but this is actually rated for six people. Uh, you can see it's only got one tube that goes all the way around and that's just one continuous tube. It's not separated into sections or anything like that, which helps keep it really light. But again, if you get a puncture in that single tube, it's gonna go flat pretty quickly. So when you get into some of the offshore rafts or uh, you know all the commercial rafts and ISO rafts, you're gonna get into a double tube, which are separated. So if, if one of these does get punctured, the other tube will still float the full capacity of the raft and they're designed to do that. So this is it. these are actually redundant tubes. Uh, for instance, this is a six person coastal commander by Revere and this is rated for six people. And even if one of these tubes was deflated, it would still float the full six people inside there. So you have, have that redundancy as a backup. Whereas the entry level rafts with the single tube are not gonna give you that. It's kind of a one shot deal. But the reality is one of these is a heck of a lot better than treading water until somebody finds you. Uh, now the Cruise Saver Rescue Case packs up into a really small valise which only weighs 26 pounds. 
and it's super easy to keep on your boat. This is, like I said, this is the entry level, but it's the lightest, smallest, super easy to throw on your boat. You can bring it with you if you don't want to leave it on the boat. And this, the, the rescue case inflates within just a few seconds right out of this bag. Uh, you basically pull a painter line out of the side, throw the bag over, pull the rest of the line out, and the raft inflates just in a few seconds, like I said, and then you can jump in. It's also very similar to the Rescue Case by Crew Saver. Revere makes a line of compact rafts that are available in two, four, or six person sizes. And whereas the Crew Saver is only available in the six person size, you have those other size options with the Coastal Compact, as well as an optional canopy kit. Uh, which is a self-erecting, meaning you have to put it up after you're inside there. Uh, but it's a great option to keep you protected from the sun if you are out there, even for just a few hours. If, you, if you're sitting out in the sun without any sunblock or any protection, you can uh, start to get fried pretty quickly. Your next step in recreational rafts is going to be a coastal raft, such as Revere's Coastal Commander 2.0. Um, similar to the other coastal rafts in the Coast Guard approved or IS approved uh, worlds, you're going to have really basic equipment inside there, not an insulated floor. Uh, it's really designed to keep you safe in a coastal situation where you can uh, summon help within a few hours, you know, less than a day. You're cruising close to shore, uh, not going super far out there, but you're getting into a full size raft with the two buoyancy tubes. You've got a full canopy, which automatically inflates as the raft inflates. Some will have a uh, strobe light on top, some don't. And that's really going to vary between manufacturer. And that's the other thing to note about recreational rafts. Since there is no official approval, it's up to the manufacturer exactly what equipment they put in there and what features they put on the raft. So it's worth taking the time to look at the differences between manufacturers and, and finding a raft that fits exactly what you're looking for. So there's some really great options out there for coastal recreational rafts. A few of them that we carry would be Revere's Coastal Commander 2.0, which is available in a six person size in a valise or a hard container that you can mount on deck. Superior makes their Coastal Surge, which is also available in a six person size in a valise or hard container. Ocean Safety makes their Ocean Standard Life Raft, which is available in four or six person sizes in a valise or hard container. And Crew Saver makes their Coastal Mariner line, which is available in four, six, or eight person sizes in valise or hard container. So your final jump in recreational rafts is gonna be an offshore raft. So it's gonna really look similar to a coastal raft with the two buoyancy tubes, uh, self-erecting canopy, and the raft itself is going to look very similar on the outside, but you're going to get the addition of an insulated floor to help keep you protected from hypothermia if you're in an offshore situation and you might be out there a little bit longer. And you're going to get some additional items in your equipment pack. So you're probably going to get a first aid kit, some flares, and you might even get food and water rations in there. And again, the exact contents are going to vary between manufacturer and model. Uh, one other thing to note about recreational rafts is that you can get some models that are self-writing. And what that means is if you throw the life raft overboard and pull the painter line out and it starts to inflate, sometimes a life raft will have a tendency to inflate upside down, which isn't a huge deal. Once you're in the water, you can swim over and there's always going to be a writing strap underneath the life raft that you can pull on and that flips the raft back over so you can hop inside. What a self-writing raft does is even if it does start inflating upside down, it's constructed in a way that allows the raft to roll itself back over. So you don't have to physically go over, swim and jump in the water and, and write it yourself. So it's gonna be a more expensive feature, but something to think about if, if you're worried about that scenario of a raft inflating upside down. Thanks for joining us today for this segment of our virtual boat show series. Make sure you check us out at survivalatsea.com where you can shop for all of the different life rafts that we talked about today. Also, if you haven't already, check us out at virtualnewenglandboatshow.com where you can see all the rest of our videos and sign up for our newsletter there to stay in the loop with exclusive offers.